Hi guys, happy new year. It's 2018 and I'm back. I took about a week and a half of a break after vlogging this because vlogging every day kind of took it out of me, but I really enjoyed it. I really did. Um, I was so scared to start off with. I didn't think I'd enjoy it as much as I did, but it gave me the opportunity to show a little bit more of myself and be more myself. And to be honest, as much as I love Instagram and as much as I love those other platforms, you just don't get to do that. You can probably hear I have a little bit of a cold now, but I'm really determined to get into like kind of posting weekly videos on my YouTube channel in 2018. So hopefully I'll do one every week. I asked people yesterday on Snapchat, what did you like to see? And fashion came miles ahead of everything else. Then it was beauty, then it was um, travel, then fitness, and then interiors. So I'm really gonna try and start doing a lot more fashion videos. And I think it's, fashion is a tough one because it is like subjective, but I think when it comes down to it, there are basic rules that you can follow that will make putting outfits together, coming up with ideas for outfits and things like that a lot easier. And I suppose because I'm doing that so often, I want to try and help and I want to try and share tips and yeah, hopefully make it more easy, easier and more enjoyable for you to do as well. So um, if you haven't already, please do subscribe because I'm going to be doing one now as often as I can. And please send me suggestions. Hopefully you find this useful. Um, but yeah, here we go. So the video I'm going to do today is seven rules for putting outfits together. I have some of them written down, so if you see me looking down, that's what I'm doing. But basically, it, like, some of them can sound so simple now and some of them can sound like, yeah, you know that. But I find sometimes even myself when I'm putting outfits together, there's something not right about it and I don't always know exactly what it is. So I suppose if you have these rules at the top of your head, you can say, okay, maybe this isn't tight enough. Maybe I need something that fits a little bit better. Maybe I need a different colour. Um, and it, it can be that simple, it can be, you know, the smallest thing that can just make an outfit so much better. So um, hopefully this will help. I'm going to talk you through the different rules and then I'm going to show you different examples. Some of me wearing the, the different rules that I'm talking about um, and some of just other people. So, okay, let's go. Okay, so the first rule of putting outfits together is don't go too matchy-matchy. Um, it's kind of a tough one because it's hard to know when is, ma like, when is it too matchy-matchy. But I think personally when it's really obvious when, you know, say every every piece of your outfit is um, one colour or if you're really trying overly hard to make everything match, that's when it's too matchy matchy. It can seem sometimes like the most obvious way to make your outfit coordinate, but too much of one colour just doesn't work sometimes. So what I would suggest doing is find the less contrasting hues and tones and match those. So if you're wearing a darker navy or a black or even, um, you know, neutral beiges, whites, creams, stuff like that, you can bring as much of those colours into your look as you want and it's not overly obvious that you've chosen one colour and you're basing your whole look around that. Um, another thing to consider is when you're wearing prints, pick out one of the, the more kind of neutral, less obvious colours from the print and match whatever you want to match to that. So you can wear your, match your skirt, your bag, your shoes, your trousers, whatever it is. Um, and then it just look, makes the whole look look a lot more coordinated. Like you really thought through the colors of the outfit and it brings continuity to the outfit and makes it look just a whole lot put, more put together. So the second rule is fit is so much more important than following trends. The number one tip for feeling and looking good in your outfit is wearing something that you feel confident in. Um, and some fits will just never go out of fashion. Hourglass, um, you know, showing off the skinniest parts of your body. Just flattering fits in general, that's kind of what you should be looking for. And I think that does, it does depend on your body shape, but we'll talk about that a little bit later. Um, look, I, I find often when I go into a shop and I look at something on somebody else or I look at it on the mannequin, I'm like, that looks so cool. But when you're shopping, you really have to be thinking, what is the fit going to be like? If it's really baggy, is that going to suit me? Um, and you should just rule those things out straight away. Uh, it's nice to, you know, say if you look, see a print that you like, it's great. But if it's not in the style, in the fit that will suit you, then just leave it. You just have to be aware um, going forward of the different fits that suit you and go with those. Rule number three is let one statement piece do the talking. A statement piece is basically the first thing that somebody notices about your outfit 
whether it's well actually more than often than not it's going to be an accessory it could be your bag a pair of shoes um a statement necklace whatever it is um but i find in winter it can often be a statement coat in summer it can be um a statement blouse but what i find will work is if I have one really strong piece in an outfit just to keep everything else pretty simple and let that one piece do the talking it's not always the case as with all of these rules like it, you know they're kind of rules are there to be bent and broken but um that's if you're stuck if you're not sure what would I wear with this coat there's so much going on just keep it really simple Tip number four is to wear tight with loose. So if you're wearing a baggy jumper like I am right now, wear a more fitted skirt like I am right now. Um, it's just one of those things where if you're wearing, if all your outfit is baggy, you're gonna get lost in it. It's not gonna be flattering. If all your outfit is tight, I mean, it's usually not gonna be flattering. It depends on who you are, but I just think if you wanna add a little bit of style to your look, it's nice to have the, the contrast of, of something tight and something a little bit looser. So um, just to bear that in mind, it's kind of an obvious one, but again, sometimes you can look at something and say, oh, why does this not work? It's because you're wearing, say, say if I was to wear a skater skirt with this jumper, I would just be completely lost in it. So um, I'll put in some pictures anyway, just to kind of show what I mean of good examples of wearing tights with loose. <laughs> Rule number five is probably the most obvious one, the most important one, one that you've heard a million times before, dress to your body shape. But um, I don't wanna just say that and not give you kind of context behind what that actually means. So you have to think about what areas you're proud of, what areas are you trying to hide? And if you even look at your the pieces that you wear the most in your wardrobe at the moment, you'll be able to see that. So for me, my legs are my skinniest part and I'm always trying to hide like my middle area. Um, so when I look at my wardrobe, I see kind of loose tops and I see a lot of like skirts and skinny jeans and baggy jumpers and that's just how I dress and that's so when I go out and I buy stuff like that I know I'm going to wear it and yeah so just have a look at what you have um and bear that in mind when you're shopping you know look at something and say is that going to suit me though as nice as that looks on somebody else is that going to su suit my own shape if you're not sure actually what your shape is just um, have a look in the mirror. There's things that, I even Google it online, There's they have different charts and they have different ways of showing you on a million different websites. Um, if I can find some good ones, I'll link them below. Okay, so my sixth tip is to break up blocks of colour and blocks of shape with belts. Um, I'm doing it today, but honestly, it will change your wardrobe, it will make outfits a lot easier um, and a lot more interesting. Um, I just find when you're wearing all one colour together, it can get a little bit boring and just having different kind of belts to choose from would really spruce it up. I'd suggest getting thin belts, um, a little bit thicker belts, belts with prints. Today I am wearing um, the cheetah print leopard print belt that i got from pretty little thing um pennies do great ones they're only three or four euro i link some good options below but they are really good kind of accessories to have in your wardrobe even if you don't need them like with jeans or whatever if it's just a plain outfit it's all black and you put on a nice black belt with a buckle it can make all the difference so just to bear that in mind Okay, my seventh and final rule is that rules are there to be broken. Fashion is supposed to be fun and you should totally be able to express yourself and wear what you want to wear. I think those the first kind of six rules that I gave will help you and guide you to pick things that will be flattering for you and to buy things that are gonna that you're gonna wear. But um, when it comes down to it, you know, sometimes those rules don't always apply. If you want to wear two statement pieces, then do. You know what I mean? If it works, if you think it works, then do. Uh, the main thing is that you're confident and you're happy in what you're wearing and yeah that it's fun for you so i hope those seven tips help um they're probably really obvious to some of you and they're even a little bit obvious to me but i find that i'll just repeating them saying them out loud listening to them will help me when i'm picking out outfits in future i'm going to definitely try and do more of things like this over the next few months and i'm going to do lots more fashion hauls i'm going to talk you through different trends so if there's anything in particular fashion wise you want to see let me know and i'm going to really try and do it 
so yeah i'm just so excited for this year i feel like it's going to be a good one i feel like it's off to a good start so yeah thank you so much for watching if you did watch there's loads more to come um lots more fashion beauty fitness whatever you want so um please do subscribe and please do like because that's how you know my videos would get seen and yeah thank you and happy new year